A line is drawn around the middle of the cylinder. The upper third of the cylinder is divided into three parts. Two lines are traced in the center of the base of the cylinder. This will mark the incisal edge. Fine mesial and distal lines are drawn as well. The buccal and palatal surfaces are identified. The cervical third is carved by progressively removing wax from the entire contour, insisting on the mesial and distal areas. Wax is removed in a straight line on the buccal surface to mark the curvature of the incisal edge. The central incisor is narrow at the cervical portion, rounder in the centre and straighter towards the incisal edge. On the palatal surface, the contour of the cingulum is lightly traced in the middle of the middle third. Wax will be removed from this line towards the incisal edge, creating a whistle-like shape.
The base of the cingulum is narrowed by removing wax from the mesial and distal lines towards the palatal surface. The tooth would appear strangled if wax were removed buccally. It is observed that the line traced at the beginning remains intact. A bulge must be achieved at this level. The mesial line will also remain intact as the mesial incisal angle is straight. The distal incisal angle is rounded. Pericomata are lightly traced at the cervical area of the buccal surface. Developmental lines are also drawn on the buccal surface, a short distal one and a longer mesial one. Marginal ridges and palatal pits and ridges are carved. 